Hello, I'm Daryl Cagle. Today I'm going to be uh, coloring the GOP pooping elephant with Ted Cruz and Donald Trump in Photoshop. It shouldn't be too difficult a project. It should go pretty fast. So, uh, hey folks, thank you for joining me and uh, off we go. So this is my screen view. And, uh, you know, behind it, the images of what the colors are on this elephant that I've flopped to face towards the left. Actually, I think it's telling that the elephant faces towards the right because it is supposed to be a rightward facing party. But that didn't fit into my uh, composition because the elephant is, of course, pooping to the right here. And uh, as I discussed yesterday when I drew this one uh, online in the live stream, Pooping cartoons do not uh, get reprinted a lot, so um, this one's going to have to struggle, but uh, I thought it was cute. I wanted to do a pooping cartoon. It's kind of a pro-Trump cartoon. You certainly don't see many of those. So, um, hey, settle back. This will probably take me an hour, and um, I appreciate uh, any comments. So... What I have done is I've scanned it, assembled it, cleaned up the hickeys, and put in all the layers here. And I added an extra layer at the top, which is just a copy of the layer underneath it, as you see. And um, on this layer on top, I'm going to select the elephant and give him his color. His color needs to be this, so the top needs to be blue with what looks to be about 100% cyan, 50%, I mean 20% um, uh, magenta. So let's give that a try only here on the top layer. percent cyan 20 percent magenta 100% not quite dark enough is it needs another 10 percent of magenta bottom part so uh, folks come give me some comments you know I love the comments Getting this one a little more careful so I don't have to come back in and futz with it. Oof. that a hundred percent now I've got to come in and take it away where it is uh, conflicting with my nice black line art This, I think, was my easiest strategy for uh, 
dealing with making this red and blue, but keeping the the nature of the keeping the nature of the cross hatching on there, which I didn't want to lose. Oh, this isn't too bad. I just need to come back and define these lines. That was pretty messy. Let's go back. So no one has anything to say yet today. You guys are quiet. So all the talk now is about whether... About oh, Leanab! Leah B! Thanks for following, I appreciate that. I do need the follows. So all the talk now is about... The obsessive talk on cable TV is about whether the convention should select delegates based on the popular vote. This because of Donald Trump's complaining about Ted Cruz doing a better job nabbing delegates than he is. Ooh, that looks crummy. Let's change that. bad. You can use a little bit more dark under there. Huh? That's what I had in mind at first, I think. Give him him giving him a thickened line where the the light source would determine a thickened line. And that's because I'm on this top layer coming back and uh, just taking away this extra layer of uh, color that I put on top to define the elephant. So I could have handled this uh, crosshatchy color in a different way, but uh, this looked okay to me. This will actually handle pretty well with uh, poor registration, lousy newspaper printing.
things on the party. You know, I thought about making this uh, my typical elephant character that I do for, uh, for these things most frequently. But I wanted it to be more generically uh, the um, sorry, I had to think there. Fill. Yeah, that's a little better. So that's looking kind of corporate, huh? So let's get a little more poopy color for the poop. We can do that. You folks are so silent. This is my uh, water from Flint, Michigan. too dark for poop. Let's lighten her up. 45. That is a little light for poop, but I think I'll do two parts. Yeah, that's a little better. A little bit of uh, light source and shadow in the poo-poos. Editors don't like cartoons that have poo-poo in them, but they do very much want cartoons on this topic. And the pro-Donald point of view is not getting many cartoons, so I suspect that there will be uh, some consternation about uh, the poo-poo. Editor consternation. Editor poo poo consternation. Consternation. Now let's come back with a little, a little brown texture. brown texture on the ground. Very often I'll do a little bit of this um, uh, uh, a little bit of the, the sponge texture just to make the ground a little bit brown. So let's do that here. Lighten it up a little bit. Uh-oh. I can see here that I've forgotten to make this 400 DPI. So let's do that now. I do that because the size of the image just gets uh, unwieldy for the database. more a little bit more texture going on when it's lower resolution huh now the background 
I think I'm going to do their gray suits first before I do the background. So let's try that. This looks like a good gray. I want it to be a CMY gray. This here it's a little bit more blue than not blue, which you can't really tell unless you look at that. So we'll make uh, let's make Cruz a little bit more blue. I mean uh, Trump a little bit more blue. And Cruz will be a little bit more brown suited. Trump always wears very gray suits. see that I should have been doing this on a layer rather than my background layer. So there's a better background layer. Down a little bit. Softer. him a little bit of uh, tone. Oh, that's a good looking Donald. It's tied to have some color but to be uninteresting so it's not something that attracts your eye this one's going to be colored up pretty quick I'll be working on the next one soon all right let's give him some flesh color let's say four 25, 25. That looks like a good Trumpian flesh color, huh? Lots of cartoonists make him orange skinned, but uh, I haven't adopted that. Oh, let's harden that up. Make that a little bigger. It's a little bit dark for the middle tone that I'm trying to get. So let's go a little bit lighter. And I'll come back and add a light and a dark to it. As I usually do with these flesh tones. You guys are so silent. I've got no comments. Alright, that looks like the Donald. Cruz can have the same color. Good looking flesh color. Middle tone.
Now the alternative to this would be to draw outlines on the elephant rather than have the elephant be completely um, completely color in the line work. All right. There's a darker flesh tone for everybody. Opacity down. a little bit of stuff going on in here and I'll give just a little bit of dark to Donald here and we'll do the light parts. Lighten him up that way. And uh, I'll do that on another layer in case I don't like it, because sometimes I don't like it. Opacity 36. Oh, you silent people. No conversation today. cheek here a little bit. I think I'll come back and give him a little bit of uh, pink in the cheek as I usually do. Okay, let's do the same for Trump, uh, for uh, Cruz. Cruz gets more lightness to his forehead. Although these uh, flesh tones look uh, subtle when I'm doing them here, the printing in lousy newspaper printing is going to bring up these uh, little variations in fresh flesh tone and really crank them up so that they are kind of disturbing if I don't choose to be too subtle. Now I need to do a little bit of the dark part. So I'll come and get my dark. And let's move over here and get a really dark. That's really pretty dark. And then I can do really dark touches in places that need more dark. Same with the Donald. Let's 
So I'm not doing a full flesh tone job with these guys. I'm just doing a little bit that would uh, make it look like it was more rendered than it was in the crummy way that it's about to be printed. Okay, let's give Ted Cruz his hair. This looks like a good Ted Cruz hair underlay cover color. If I was going the comic book route, I'd make his hair blue, like uh, Superman and Bruce Wayne, but I think that's kind of harsh. Cruz is a funny character. All right, let's give him a suit color. Actually, suit color matching that hair color is not a bad choice. Let's do that. Maybe a little bit lighter and a little bit warmer. That looks good. Go with that. Brown suit for Cruz. He seems like a brown suit kind of guy. I like to make the shoes match the suit color so that your eye isn't drawn away to the shoes which is easier to do when the suits are gray. Harder to do when they're an odd color like this brown. But I think I'm going to need to base brown the shoes anyway and just give them a little bit of uh, a little bit of dark on top to try to differentiate them. So we shall do that. Now, let's give him a, an orange tie. Maybe that's too bright. Let's give him a unnoticeable tie. Now let's get a little bit of this uh, darker. Boy, not a single comment today. I had one nice follow from Leah B. But beyond that, you guys are just absolutely silent. that's good enough for Cruz. Now for Trump hair, um, I have not been just giving him orange hair. I've been doing um, yellow and orange sponge texture. Let's start that with a bit of white to break up his uh, hairline here. So 
just a little bit of uh, hairline breakup. Now let's put in some yellow. You know, he got a haircut, which was a really pretty thoughtful presidential haircut that softened the silliness of his hair, yet left it looking much the same. $100,000 haircut. Okay, I think he's going to need some of this kind of stuff going on in his eyebrows. So let's get that as an eyebrow color. I think that's pretty well got him. And with that, looks like I'm just about done. Oh, I was going to put some pink in their cheeks, wasn't I? All right, let's do that. There's cheek color. Bump up the pink to 38. All right. Put it on a new layer. Make it very light. And this is just to give him some life in his Trumpian cheeks. People look better when they've got a little bit of pink going on. It makes them look like they're alive. So. That's given Trump some Trump color, maybe pinker than he deserves. Trump and Cruz both deserve a little bit of pink. So here's some some life in Cruz's cheeks. tapping with my stylus. Taking out a couple of hickeys I missed. You guys are so silent. Right, this is, oh, uh, you know, I think the underside of his e ear is looking a little bit not too uh, thoughtful. So let's lighten that up. Oops. Can't do it on the multiply layer. You want to see it. So lighten up that little bit of under ear. Let's go up here, take out a couple little hickeys that I see. All right. I think we've got it going. Can lose some hickeys here. You know, I think maybe the poop isn't quite warm enough. 
Gonna give it a little bit of uh, orange, a little bit of orange in the poop. Warm up the poop a little bit. Poop wants to be warm. All right. I think the next thing to consider would be whether I want to put a, a background color or a texture in here. I'm kind of thinking that I don't, but I might play with a little bit of something. Maybe just a little bit of gray. Let's try that. See if I like a little bit of gray. I'm not sure I will, but I might. sure that's bad. Just a little bit of hint of stuff. Not sure it's good either. Maybe it's better with a really clean background. With? Without? Hmm. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna give it without. So no, uh, no background except that little line of the ground at the bottom. It cleans it up. All right, let's stick with this. I will save. And uh, I'm going to go with the line art for the black and white version. And I think we're finished with this one today. So uh, that, uh, that lasted 44 minutes. This was a, a quickie to color. So, hey folks, thank you so much. Um, this makes me think I should, uh, well, no, I think we're good. All right, hey! There's the cartoon. And uh, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Um, uh, please follow if you haven't followed and uh, uh, come and look at our uh, cartoon collection on DarylKagel.com. You can see all the past videos paired with the final cartoons, along with my comments. He's doing in the house and right now. Thank you much. So he gets a little closer to the convention, and he knows, and his team knows, this is going to all be chat.